Hello everyone, welcome to another Stamping with Ian project. Uh, today, uh, this fun little thing. You see that? Dead easy. A uh, bit of colouring, a bit of die cutting, a bit of DSP, a bit of stamping. Dead easy. Hopefully you'll love it. I've got my coffee with my oat milk. Uh, I've given up cow's milk now. I'm finding oat milk is very, very nice. Uh, don't use soya for obvious reasons. And there was something dodgy about almond milk being going off. So oat milk is the way to go for me. This is the stamp set we'll be using. The Gang's All Mia. This is a freebie and you can earn this with a £45 order from me. Uh, lovely stamp set in our red rubber. There you go. Stamps beautifully this stuff. So we're going to play with that. Uh, DSP. No. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> I've done a bit of cutting already and things. You know. Do you want to see me cut DSP and score scorecard stock? I don't think so. You want to see me colour, don't you? <laughs> so this is a standard A5, uh, scored and folded at four and one eighth, uh, and it's five and seven eighths long. We'll just score that. I'm going to stamp it up bone folder. <laughs> I broke the last one. Not quite sure how I managed it, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, two bits of DSP. I'm um, not sure where this is from. It's from the uh, sample pack. Uh, if you sign up under me as a demonstrator, you get this pack of DSP, gorgeous DSP, uh, for free, along with a cute, a cute trimmer. This is lovely. I love this to bits actually. <laughs> so they're freebies as well as the free stamp set you get as well as free shipping and you're getting 130 pounds worth of stuff for 99 pounds what's not to like eh <laughs> so this was six by six i've chopped it down to uh five and three quarters and then chopped it at four inches and that's the two inch for the inside so shall we stick shall we stick those two in before we go any further yeah why not eh let's increase the light a little bit so we'll do the outside first and let's have a make a better job of this one than what I did with the other one which I had to rip off and re-stick because it was all on the wonk <laughs> can't have things on the wonk you know well you can I suppose if it's if it's designed to be on the wonk then it should be on the wonk this isn't designed to be on the wonk so it's not going to be on the wonk <laughs> There we go, get it level. Is it level there? Is it level there? Oh, look at that. About half a millimeter off, but yeah, I'm happy with that. And the inside bit. We'll do the inside stamping after this as well. Get that out of the way. So this goes here. Beautiful. Uh, we've got our tuxedo. Memento black, love this black, my favourite black ever. This is, it's just adorable. If anything black can be adorable, then this would be it. <laughs> right, get it the right way around. Get it roughly level. Kind of kind of in the middle-ish, although, you know, yeah. I think that's on the wonk, isn't it? Oh no, no, I did good there. So let that dry stick it out of the way whilst we uh, get some white cardstock which is here I've got glue on my finger <laughs> right and we're going to uh, we're going to stamp the meerkats 
again in our tuxedo black because we're going to be colouring in with some blends. So. Put, you put your lid on when you're finished, otherwise you will get ink on cardstock, on your fingers, in your elbows, pretty much everywhere, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so let's see that in the middle. Press it down, let the card absorb the ink. Lovely. Give it a bit of a wave. Have a sip of coffee. Right, now then, uh, while, that, while that's drying, I'll cut out the, uh, the black. This is our basic black cardstock, lovely stuff. I've got my die cutting machine just at the side of me here. And it would help if you put it on the cutting plate and not on the, set, and not on the top plate. <laughs> what a twit. Right, here we go. Ram that through. So that's ready. That's ready and the black car stock can go away. And we'll put the die away while we're at it. There we go. This is the Leering Ovals from Stampin' Up. Lovely, and they do squares, circles, and stitched rectangles as well, and stitched shapes, of course. Right, so put those away. Right, I've got three pens here. I've got a light crumb cake for the meerkats. I've got a light. No, I've got a dark old ollie for the grass, and I've got a light balmy blue for the sky. That's going to be kind of around it. So. Put that, put that over there so I don't lose it. Put that over there so I don't lose it. <laughs> right, a bit of grass first. So just, just kind of under the feet, around, in between the legs, where you can see the grass. Yeah, there you go. Lovely jubbly, that's all you need for that. Meerkats. This is such a fun set. I may well keep hold of it, I may, I may not sell it. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Yeah. Some colouring. Da da da. Da 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 da. Kind of staying within the lines, you know. Always good, I suppose. And these blends make it so easy to colour. You know, I'm so glad that I have them. I'm kind of looking and looking at this as an angle because I'm, you know. <laughs> Okay, lovely, last one. And then the tail. And then we will. Uh, these dry quite quickly. So what I can do now is I'll just go back to the first one and where you see these little darker pictures, just add a little bit more. You know, uh, I'm thinking of getting the dark shades of these at some point. But, but at the minute, I just kind of go over again with the light. You know, kind of does the same job, you know. And then around with the sky. So it's just around, around the edge, leave a bit of a white border. As he says, colouring a meerkat blue. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, around that one. 
And that one, and there's down there. There's just a few little splodges, kind of in between. Lovely, love, love, love. Okay. Give it a shake. And we'll get our die and we'll put it on our platform. I'm using the uh, magnetic platform on my die cutting machine and the usual uh, acrylic plates. Lovely. So we'll run this through. Job done. There we have it. Bring our card out. That's nice and dry. I'm going to glue this onto the matte piece, onto the basic black. Like so. That's roughly level. Yeah, that will do. That's nice. We get a couple of dimensionals. Stamping dimensionals are the best. Okay, I'm biased, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> Love the lum. Love them. Um, get rid of our bits, our backing pieces. So, you know, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, and a share, of course. Uh, subscribe would be lovely, and you can ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And you always know when I've got a video, uh, an upcoming video. They're always premieres, by the way. So you can chat along with me. And uh, that's on the wonk. That is so on the wonk. <laughs> right, okay. Um, in this one, they're standing on a hill. All right. <laughs> so you, you can come and chat with me, yeah? And you can set reminders on the uh, premieres as well. Which, is, which I think is quite handy. So let's go over the bone folder again. That's the one we've just made with our stamped inside. There we go. And that's the one I made earlier with my prototype. So thank you so much for watching today. Whatever you're doing, uh, have a lovely time. Go visit my blog where you find all the measurements for these cards and all the supplies which you can buy, should you so wish, at stampingwithin.blogspot.co.uk. Have a lovely time once again, and bye for now. Bye.